Today I'm going to show you some tips and tricks related to rulers and guidelines in Illustrator. Okay, so if you want to activate the ruler, you can press Ctrl R. So this is the shortcut and as you can see, it's going to appear the ruler up here and of course on the left. Now my ruler is really small because I'm on 4K monitor. Okay, so you also can activate or deactivate the ruler here at the properties at the ruler and guides. You can uncheck it or check it and you also got the grids. You can activate or deactivate. I'm going to talk about a little bit later about this. Okay, so all you need to do is go to the ruler, long click and drag it. And as you can see, it's going to create this line. I'm going to drag it to the text release. Okay, so the annoying part of these guidelines is you barely can see them because they are in cyan color. So they're like pretty invisible. So you can also change these. You can go to edit preference and go to guides and grid. And here you got the guides colors. You can switch it up. I got to go with magenta. You also can change the style from line to dots. I don't recommend that and click OK. And you can see now we get a more visible guideline. All right, next. So if I move the artboard next to the ruler, you can see the top left corner of the artboard is right at the zero. So if I move around, it's still going to be at the zero. Okay, so now let's create another artboard. I got to go to the artboard, click on the plus. So let's see what happens. I zoom in and as you can see on the second one, and now it starts at the zero. So basically the ruler, it resets itself. And if I go back to the first one, well, it's not at zero anymore. You also can bring it back to zero by going up here to the left corner and long press and drag it. And now it's bringing like two crossing lines. And all I'm going to do is go to the artboard top left corner where they intersect release. And now it is starting from zero. You also can see the end number here of the artboard is 400. You can make your artboard with pair numbers by pressing shift plus O. And here you can see the artboard settings. I got width 400 and height 400 as well. Okay, so I'm going to create a quick frame. I'm going to drag it to the 20 and the other one to the 380. And I'm going to do with the crossing one. You also can lock the rulers or unlock it because right now you can move them wherever you want and you don't want to move them by accident. All you need to do is right click and lock guides. And now you can't do anything with those. You only can move the vectors. And if you want to hide them, you can right click and click on hide guides, or you can use the shortcut control semicolon. And this way it's going to hide or show. And you also can group these guides. For example, I'm going to select the horizontal guides and I'm going to press control G. And for example, if I select one of these, it's going to select all the horizontal guidelines. And by the way, you also can group the guidelines with the vector. So I'm going to select all of it, right click, group or press control G and this way you can move around all the guidelines with the vector. You also can copy paste these guidelines. For example, I'm going to press and hold alt and I'm going to drag these vertical guidelines to the next artboard until they intersect. There you go. I'm going to hide them and I'm going to activate the rulers. For example, I'm going to select the rectangle and I'm going to try to draw something on it, but you know, it's snapping nowhere. So it's really difficult to work with it. So in this situation, all you need to do is go to view and check snap to pixel. And if I want to create something, it's going to snap automatically to these little pixels and you can match perfectly the squares in here. And these are some of the tips related to rulers and guides here in Illustrator. Thanks for watching.